hey, in this tutorial, you're going to make this kind of video, but also you can include more statistics you, you want. At first, we're going to get GPX file. In my case, I get it from Strava, but any service or device is fine. You just need GPX file. After that, we're going to generate overlays in gpxoverlay.com. Let's drag our GPX file first, then click Generate Overlays. In this moment, you can see chart of elevation and speed. And all you need to do is just select the section you want to use in your video. In my case, I recorded just downhill. So let's just drag it to the very end, let's say. At the bottom, you can see duration and selected time. Let's click Next. In this step, we select resolution, FPS, the style, and units that we want to include. Let's go with 4K resolution, 10 FPS, futuristic font. Let's select metrics that we want to include in our overlay. In our case, it will be speed. Let's, let's go with the visual one. Let's use kilometers, percent grade, maybe attitudes, why not? and also activity map. Some of the settings is available only for pro users and to see all the pro features, you can just click the pro badge or you can scroll up to go to pricing section. In pricing page, you can preview all the features. Now it's just a matter of clicking generate overlays and wait for a moment. Once we download the overlays, we get them in zip file, which we need to extract. The overlay looks like this. It's many, 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 many photos that we have to import to our video editing app. I will import it to DaVinci Resolve. Let's open Media tab. Let's open the catalog where the overlays are and just simply drag the catalog over the DaVinci, uh, DaVinci app. It should look like this. It looks like one file, but it's actually the whole catalog with all the photos included. It behaves as a clip, so we can see it in our uh, media pool tab. Let's find it. There it is. Let's move it to overlay catalog and simply drag this clip over the video. The problem is it's way too quicker and not synchronized. So to do this, Let's move to the moment where I know what time it is. To synchronize, in this case, I just took a look at my bike computer because my GoPro clip uh, does not contain time, unfortunately. So it's better to have uh, time updated in your GoPro. It will be much easier as we would need just to take a look what time the, the GoPro clip was created. In this case, I know this is 1 p.m. 59. The overlay below contains times and some metadata that we need to use to synchronize and slow down the, the video. The overlay contains metadata at the bottom. It tells you what frame rate uh, is the overlay and how much you need to slow down the video, the clip, to match your video. In my case, I use 30 FPS for my GoPro, GoPro video. So we have to slow down the clip the overlay to 0.3333. Let's do it. Change speed, 0 point and some free. Okay, if you use DaVinci Resolve 19, we don't need to slow down the clip. It's just a matter of changing settings of the clip. So let's, let's open context menu. Let's click clip attributes, change frame rate of the overlay to 10 FPS because this is frame rate that we used to generate. If you use regular version of GPX overlay, it, the default is five, but in our case it's 10, so let's use this value. And right now, when I run the video, we should see that the time goes as it should be. Right now, we need to drag the overlay clip a bit to synchronize with the video. So this is time 1 p.m. 58. It's done, it's synchronized right now. So let's play the video, let's see if it's fine. It's 60 kilometers, let's see if it's synchronized with the 
with the computer and I think it is. If you see the map, it's probably synchronized as well as you see, because I turn in exactly the same piece as it does on the map. Okay, now let's just trim our video because I want part of it. Right now, let's place the map on the metrics in places that I want. We can do this using inspector and moving the position or zoom if we need. At first, let's just cut out the metadata from the overlays. To do so, we have to crop. We have to crop the bottom, as you see here, just slightly to remove the numbers. I want to cut other matrix as well, just to leave the map. Now let's leave map like this. Let's move the position to the left and a bit lower. Let's leave it in this place. Okay, looks good. To keep also rest of matrix, we can just multiply the, the overlay layer and Right now, it's just a matter of rendering the video and showing it wherever you want. Thank you.